town and school facilities have ongoing capital needs. How should Wilton plan for capital projects? You may not know, and I, hopefully you do, that all the school facilities are town owned. The Board of Ed does not own any of the school facilities. We have no control over the school facilities. We are tenants. We occupy them. Unlike New York, as an example, where in many cases in towns, the boards of ed actually own their school facilities. The boards of ed actually have taxing authority. They do their own budget. They set their own taxes to support their board of education budget outside of the town environment. Well, that's not the case here. Um, we put together with our best knowledge from the schools what we expect our capital needs to be on an annual basis in our five-year plan. And we present that to the town. Historically, we've had a person in our system that does that. And the town didn't have a facility manager, facilities manager until about two years ago. We now have Chris Burney as a facilities manager. And he has taken responsibility for all of the town's facilities, including the schools. And we eliminated a full-time position within the school system. It's one of the economies that we've searched for, one of the shared services things that everybody's talking about. We actually did it. So we are now working with Chris, okay, to project our capital needs, be it roof repairs at Solder Mill, okay, et cetera, those things to set a five-year plan so we'll have insight as to what our needs are going to be going forward. Thank you. Um, Ms. Lowe, would you like to take this question? Um, I think we are really uh, blessed and fortunate in Wilton that our school facilities have been taken such good care of. Um, I've been here long enough to have seen the Miller Driscoll um, early, early, early renovation and uh, then eventual connection where they connected it through the Peach Corps and that was radical at the time to connect the two schools. And then um, going through the Cider Mill uh, renovation, um, bringing it from a 1950s um, elementary school to something for fitting for the 21st century. And then the Wilton High School um, expansion in time for increasing enrollment and also adding the Clune Center. So I think we've got a great history of, of caring for our school buildings and making them inviting places to learn for kids. Historically, it seems that we have been on time with the projects and often, if not all the time, under budget, which I think is great credit. So moving forward, you've still got to look at enrollment patterns to some extent, but you also have to plan carefully. And as um, has already been said, you want to get at least a five-year plan out there and put all the needs out there and then try to parcel them out so that no one year is, is a particular heavy hitter. See if you can even out the costs over time. Thank you. Ms. Jeans. Well, I think this is not just, um, if we're looking at capital projects, it's not just for the Board of Ed. I think that it's, um, yes, we can come up with a five-year plan and look ahead, but it's really working with the Board of Selectmen and the Board of Finance and figuring out the realistic values of what we have for the schools versus what we have for the rest of the town that doesn't affect what the school buildings are. Um, I, I also agree that it needs to be at a five-year plan. I think there's always going to be something that needs to happen. I think Chris Burney is, it's wonderful that the town now has him because I think there's a lot of things that he is doing behind the scenes um, that can also give us a lot of insight in, as to what can happen with the, uh, with the buildings um, with the school buildings. So it's, it's really sitting down once, you know, we can, can kind of, the Board of Ed can come up with, this is the, the items that we want and we can go to the Board of Selectmen, the Board of Finance and Chris Burney and, and come up with a realistic, um, a realistic plan as to what can actually happen for us in the next five years. Ms. Preston. Well, everybody's kind of said everything, um, but I'm thrilled that uh, we have Chris Burney on board who's handling all the management of the town facilities. I, th I think uh, that does lie best with, with one person um, having that oversight. And, uh, you know, I'm a planner. I think long-term planning, uh, it, works, it works best for the town and ultimately it works best for the um, taxpayers. Um, I, I think we need to have these plans to make sure we're on, you know, proper maintenance schedule. Um, make sure we, we know of some of the larger upcoming expenditures. Um, I, I think, um, I don't want to rehash what everybody else said, but a plan is essential. Thank you. 
I, uh, before I ask for rebuttal, I only have one more question left. So if you have another question, please take it to the screeners because, you know, we don't want to cut this short. There are a lot of things to find out about the Board of Ed. Um, Mr. Hammerley, would you care to rebut? No. We, all right. Ms. Lowe, would you care for another 30 seconds? No, I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Uh, Ms. Jeans? No, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm certainly not in Westport. <laughs> <laughs>